Let the bird of loudest lay on the sole Arabian tree, herald sad and trumpet be, to whose sound chaste wings obey. But thou shrieking harbinger, foul precurrer of the fiend, augur of the fever's end, to this troop come thou not near. From this session interdict every fowl of tyrant wing, save the eagle, feathered king, keep the obsequy so strict. Let the priests in surplus white, that defunctive music can, be the death-divining swan, lest the requiem lack his right. And thou treble-dated crow, that thy sable gender makest, with the breath thou gifts and takest, mongst our mourners shalt thou go. Here the anthem doth commence, love and constancy is dead, phoenix and the turtle fled in a mutual flame from hence. So they loved as love in twain, had the essence but in one, two distincts, division none, number there in love was slain. Hearts remote, yet not asunder, distance, and no space was seen twixt the turtle and his queen, but in them it were a wonder. So between them love did shine, that the turtle saw his right flaming in the phoenix sight, either was the other's mine. Property was thus appalled, that the self was not the same, single nature's double name, neither two nor one was called. Reason, in itself confounded, saw division grow together, to themselves, yet either neither, simple were so well compounded, that it cried, How true a swain, how true a tain, seemeth this concordant one. Love hath reason, reason none, if what parts can so remain. Whereupon it made this threen, to the phoenix and the dove, co-supremes and stars of love, as chorus, to their tragic scene. Beauty, truth, and rarity, grace in all simplicity, here enclosed in cinders lie. Death is now the phoenix nest, and the turtle's loyal breast to eternity doth rest, leaving no posterity was not their infirmity, it was married chastity. Truth may seem, but cannot be, beauty brag, but tis not she, truth and beauty buried be. To this urn let those repair, that are either true or fair, for these dead birds Sigh a prayer.